Coaches, this is Mike Kuchar at xandolabs.com. I'm excited to show this to you. Um, we just put out a new special report on the SPO game, which is our screen pass options, or uh, some coaches are referring it to PSOs, pass slash screen options. It's kind of a new wave of evolution in the RPO game. This video was submitted to us by Bobby Acosta, the offensive coordinator at Bucknell University in Pennsylvania. Bobby was a contributor to this report, as was uh, Noel Mazzone, who's now the offensive coordinator at Arizona, University of Arizona, part of the uh, end zone system. This has kind of been their new wave of things heading into 2018. I wanted to share a couple clips with you. Um, if you do like what you see, the full complement of research is available online at xandolabs.com. We just put a special report out on this as well as some other new RPO concepts heading to the football field this fall. And what coaches like Coach Acosta and Coach Mazzone are doing is they're basically combining their quick game elements with the delay screen action to the boundary. So the clips I want to show you right here, I'll show you a couple clips here. And again, the full raw video is included in the special report itself. But I like this mainly because what coaches are doing is they're putting their quick screen package together, their quick game package together. Um, Coach Acosta is a big snag coach in terms of his routes and basically to the quick game side he is running his snag combination here with the back out we all know that flash or fast motion that's synonymous with coach Mazzone's system really draws outside linebackers out and really gives openings inside the intermediate game in, in the past game and what the quarterback doing is doing here is he's reading two things the first thing he's doing is reading the quick game okay so right now his eyes are on the quick game it's a it's a one high coverage Okay, the corner's bailing right here, so he's going to be able to play that nine route. And the quarterback is looking right here at this defender. And that defender is able to leverage that snag route. So once that happens, the quarterback's eyes now go to the back, and he's running that delay screen to the back. Okay, so what he does is retreats. Okay, he takes his normal three-step drop, whatever you're coaching in the system, whatever you're doing with your quarterbacks. If the read is not there, he takes another two delay steps. Coach Mazzone calls it almost like a feather technique where he's dropping back. Uh, Coach Mazzone actually teaches a shoulder roll, okay, where the quarterback's actually shoulder rolling or, or selling the play side or the field side quick game, then going back to the back. And then he just dumps it out to the back. And you got your lineman in front releasing. Now, what Coach Acosta seems to be doing here is he's releasing. He actually does get the center and guard out. Now, that's what, in terms of the blocking, and, and we go into this more specifics in the full length special report, okay? But the center and the guard are the only ones to release. Now, we, Coach Mazzone and Coach Acosta talk about first out, second out. So right now you have this guard that has like a three technique on him, so he cannot be the first out. In this situation, the center is going to be the first out. Everybody else is blocking their normal pass protection. Okay, to the field side concept, they're blocking their field side. That does not change. Okay, the backside tackle is locked on the wide rusher over here, so he's going to handle that. And the center and the guard are going to be the first to release. Okay, you see the center, the guard's able to get out first. And basically, they're, rocking their, they're blocking their screen rules, whether you're talking about sidewalk, alley, trash, whether you're talking about a zone area and their screens, but they're taking up the first color, and they're allowing the back to get a crease down the field. So it really messes with the, the defensive eyes. So you'll see it here again, okay, out of a two-by-one formation. Okay, there's the snag concept. Looks like the quarterback sees the apex player leveraging the snag route, so his eyes go back to the screen side. He's going to dump the screen off, and you can see what kind of room you have to the boundary. So it's really good, you know, especially to get those cloud corners in, in three by one. Okay, whatever you're doing, you got to get them kicked out by that offensive guard, and you have some room here for some big yardage plays. Now, this is a little different concept. This is almost a double stick, okay, to the field side. Again, quarterbacks eyeing, whether it's a Sam or the nickel, okay? And, and the, the good thing about this, Coach, is that you could, you could kind of pair this with any pass game concept that's efficient in the quick game and, and even in the intermediate game. I know Coach Mazzone does do some of this with the shallow cross concept, which is detailed in the full-length report. So he'll do some of that. And this is just a double stick concept. See the quarterbacks retreating. He's bailing. You see all this room you got out here, okay, to dump it to the back. And we talk about the coaching points of the offensive linemen and what they're taught to do. But they just got to get in front of the back, okay, and they're able to block people 
in space. And this is coming just from this spring, so this is pretty new film here. There's one more clip I want to show you, the quarterback actually throwing the quick game. Okay, so right now you have a, an ace formation or two-by-two two closed concept. There's a tight end. Now watch the quarterback's read. It doesn't always have to go. You know, we ask coaches, you know, how do you train your quarterback to make sure he gets the right read to the field and doesn't just throw the boundary side screen. And, and Coach Mazzone told us, you know, he'll do this on first down. He'll do it backed up. It's a good first down call for him. And he said seven out of ten times the quarterback is going to throw the screen. So you really have to do a good job of training his eyes to read that defender. I think the quarterback here from Bucknell does a pretty good job. You get motion here, get into a three-by-one. You're going to get the double stick. And what the quarterback does is he sees the blitz right now by the field side backer okay so he knows defense is rotating to one high he's going to have an opening right here and the tight end sees it and the tight end is able to sit down on a double stick concept and the quarterback's able to get him the ball a little late okay but gets him the ball for some pretty good yardage here so that's a pretty good example of the quarterback actually reading the field side quick game before going to the delay screen side so i'm excited about this this is kind of new this year coach mazzone and coach acosta and I should mention Coach Marsh, the offensive coordinator at Campbell University, has kind of been tinkering with this this spring. And this is new stuff, and it's heading to your, your football field this fall. And it's a really easy, inexpensive concept to implement if you already have some of the screen game in, if you already have some of your quick game in. Coaches, thanks for logging in at xandolabs.com. Good luck this season.